In a tennis tournament, there are a hundred players. Each match is played between two players. The winner advances and the loser is eliminated. Assuming a minimum number of buys, and a buy is defined as a game in which a player automatically advanced due to no opponent. How many matches need to be played to determine a winner? Let me see if you can figure this out. Pause the video, see what you come up with, and then we'll compare answers. I'm gonna break this off round by round, starting with the first round. In the first round, everyone is still there. There are a hundred players. To determine the number of games that need to be played, we just take the number of players, 100, divided by two, and that will get me 50 games that need to be played. And at, at the end of first round, there will be 50 players left. Starting off the second round, we got 50 players left. To determine how many games need to be played, do the same thing, 50 divided by two, and we will get 25 games played in the second round, which also means that 25 players will be eliminated. In the third round, we got 25 players left. To determine the number of games that need to be played, we need to divide 25 by two. Thing is, we can't have an odd number in here. One guy is gonna have no opponent to play with. So this is the first time we get a buy. This means that we gotta take the number 24 and divide that by two. That means 12 games need to be played in the third round with one buy. So in the fourth round, we have one person that got through a buy, lucky that person, and 12 people eliminated, meaning 12 people are left. So there are 13 players left. And once again, we got an odd number of players, meaning one person is going to get a buy, and we would take 12 divided by two, which equals to six games. So we were almost at the end. In the fifth round, let's count how many people we have left. Well, we got one person that escaped through a buy and six people got eliminated from six games. So we got seven players left. And anytime I get an odd amount of players, that means I have to have one buy, meaning six players have to play divided by two, which equals to three games. In the sixth round, we got three players that escape from the tournament and one buy so we got four players left we finally get an even amount of games again four divided by two meaning i have to play two more matches in the final four and finally the championship we got two players left that is just one game that needs to be played to determine the winner figure out how many games are played in total we just add 50 plus 25 plus 12 plus 6 plus 3 plus two, and don't forget the championship game, plus one, which is a grand total of 99 games. How many of you guys got that right? Well, let me know, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.